Orange line. She's got cataracts. Um, they're pretty far advanced, so how how much vision she has, you wouldn't be able to know until she actually starts trying to get up and walk a little bit. Um, so okay. that's where we say, I mean, you can have some pretty advanced cataracts and still, and still have some vision. Um, you know, definitely have a lot of missing teeth. The few that are le left in there are quite dirty, but they look pretty solid to the nature of not needing to be extracted. Um, obviously, you know, the biggest concern that we've got with is, like I said, this overall mass. Um, again, with seeing it now, I can't tell you if it was a mammary tumor that just got necrotic and ruptured or if it was a mammary abscess that, again, came necrotic and ruptured. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's disgusting, right. but it's something that I'm quite optimistic okay. we, can, we can actually take care of in a fairly short time because right. once we sit down, we at least get, a little, get her a little bit, you know, a little strength on her, get Work some fluids, get some antibiotics under control. Honestly, I would expect something either today or even maybe, t or excuse me, not today, sorry, tomorrow or the day after mm -hmm. going in and just, I would just surgically remove all this necrotic tissue. Okay. And the nice thing is, is that I have enough skin to be able to close it up and I feel we should be able to get rid of all that necrotic, right. nasty tissue all at one time. Right. So that leads us from having to be doing open dressings, you know, wet to dry, things like mm. that. Um, because like wow. I said, it is something that... I never saw anything like this, mm. and I've been in rescue. I have never. So, you know, it definitely would be the thing, you know, okay. something that no we wouldn't Good we wouldn't address spaying her at the same surgery. Right. I would take care of this, take care it's of the, okay. the infection, and then sit down and talk about spaying okay. her down the road. Because that's not life or death. And with this her is. age? Her age, exactly. That's the other thing, you know, we'll sit down and talk about. You know, obviously then a good grooming, get all these sure. mats off for her. Um, you know, that's as we go again, start to yeah. build up our strength and everything else. But I think, you know, the biggest thing, you know, is just start with the basics. We'll get the blood work. We'll get her on IV fluids. We'll get her on antibiotics. We'll get that covered up so it's not adding any more in, in infection to it. And then, like I said, you know, once we sit down and see that she's at least showing some signs of strength and kind of coming around, then surgery will be, will be on the, you know, the next discussion. And like I said, um, I'm, I'm actually... When I first saw it, or well, when you first sent me the pictures, I was much more nervous for it. But just feeling it now, I'm actually quite optimistic that we should be able to get rid of all that necrotic tissue all with that, you know, with one surgery, you know, because of the way it's actually positioned in there. You hear there, Wendy? Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you, Yay, mommy, mommy. Do you think she's anemic just by mm -hmm. looking? She may be. She's yeah. definitely, like I said, she is slight, you know, she is slightly pale. Um, it's nothing to the point that she, you know, that I'm worried that, that right. she's going to need a transfusion, but the blood work will give us the answers. Okay. You know, and that anemia can come from anything. We obviously had some ticks on us, so mm -hmm. it can be just the ehrlichia. Um, it could just be the fact that she's been fighting off that infection for so long, um, and that in itself can cause some anemia as well. Um, so we'll just have to sit down and, and see what the blood work has to tell us, um, and then take it from there. You're in the now, best hands, David. Go if on. she has ehrlichia, does that change surgery? It depends if it's the if it's we're seeing the platelets involved or not. If it's just an anemia and the platelets are still healthy, I would still push forward with surgery mm -hmm. because of the fact that we're going to overall help out her, her overall condition. Mm -hmm. If her platelets are also low, we may need to treat her and kind of keep, keep this more on a medical condition until we sit down and get those platelets to a point mm -hmm. that if we take her into surgery, we're not going to risk, obviously, any type of bleeding condition. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. She's got a, wrong, a long road uh, in front of us, but, you know, I'm definitely optimistic in saying that We've got, we've got a lot of good options here, and I think that until, you know, once we see the blood work and get the full picture, but as of for right now, from what I'm seeing, I think we've got a good, you know, a, a good game plan and a good, a good road for recovery here. So happy. Oh, the payments, too. Oh, yeah. And lots, lots, of lots of payments, yes. <laughs> yes. It's going to be one of the first yes, things. Yes, Joelle and payments. All, all that, yes. <laughs> You know, the first thing she's going to do is we're going to get the IV catheter going, mm -hmm. we're going to get some fluids, I IV antibiotic, pain medications, and everything else. Good news. Like Such good news. Mm -hmm. When I saw that, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Well, I'm sure some of the conditions are still going. In Liberty City, you said don't get out of your car. I got the water. Free shooting area. Oh, wow. And all these dogs come flying out of this yard. They've been in your van. Horrific. Horrific. Mm -hmm. All right, go 
guys, we need your help. Please, you heard Dr. Carlos, this is Native Event Marriage Center in Hallandale. He is amazing. This kid is so many of our girls. And he, we heard him is optimistic. So donate, donate, donate. Please, please, please cover all her medical costs and give her this chance at life that she so desperately deserves. With Amy, we tell her to trust in the God's green finger and in God's energy. Hey. 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 Awful. You want to taste it? Mm. All right, guys. Beg, beg, help us, please. Beg you heard us. the doctor. He's optimistic. We honestly didn't know what we were walking into when we saw her in the car. We weren't sure that actually we could save her. But we've gotten some good news. We're going to get her started on IV fluids immediately, pain antibiotics, meds. pain meds, and get some blood work and get her started on her road to recovery. And hopefully, as long as the blood work isn't horrible, we can get her into surgery in a couple of days uh, to remove the necrotic tissue and the mass. She's also got ticks everywhere. Please, guys, we're begging. We are begging. Mm. Please, please, please. Donate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, just that on her, so. Well, I've got another video well, that I took and I'll yeah. post mine too. I'm just Amy yeah. posted another video that's not live that she'll post too. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to hear Dr. Carlo a little um, better from that. We're going to sign off now because he's going to get started working on her. Please donate, guys. For Linda, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.